Today I'm going to synthesize the shock sensitive primary explosive mercury 2 fulminate and I begin by dissolving one milliliter of elemental mercury in concentrated nitric acid. The product of this reaction will be mercury 2 nitrate and it's important that concentrated nitric acid is used because if a more dilute nitric acid is used the product will be mercury 1 nitrate which won't work for this reaction. I didn't realize this and I accidentally made mercury 1 nitrate but this is fixable and I'll show you how to do that later in the video. In any case, the mercury is allowed to continue dissolving in an extremely well ventilated area and while it does, I want to remind everyone not to emulate anything you see on this channel unless you have explicit training to do so. This synthesis is particularly dangerous as it generates lethal nitrogen dioxide gases and it deals with mercury salts which are extremely toxic and carcinogenic. Anyway, as soon as my mercury is done dissolving, I carefully add 15 milliliters of anhydrous ethanol and as soon as I do, the bright yellow mercury 1 nitrate precipitates out. To fix this problem, I oxidize my mercury 1 nitrate to mercury 2 nitrate by the slow addition of 70% nitric acid. I keep making these additions slowly until the solution clears up, showing that mercury 2 nitrate has been formed and dissolved in solution. Once the mixture is completely cleared up, I add a small amount of 98% red fuming nitric acid to help jumpstart the reaction. I'm not exactly sure how much you should use here, and it didn't really seem to matter all that much. The only thing to keep in mind here is that now not only am I dealing with something that's acutely toxic, I'm dealing with something that's potentially explosive. So this is handled with the utmost utmost of care for every step throughout the entire process. Here's the mercury 2 fulminate molecule. Its structure is bent and its extreme instability comes from the very weak nitrogen-oxygen bond. This extremely unstable ion is called the fulminate ion, and I don't really understand the mechanism of generation for the fulminate ion in this process. I tried, but somehow ethanol reacts with the nitric acid to produce the fulminate ion, which will then bind to mercury at elevated temperatures. These elevated temperatures are reached by very, very, very gently heating the mixture until it starts bubbling and fuming like this. At that point, the heat of the reaction itself will keep it going, and you can remove it from a hot plate or whatever you were heating it with and let it go. The fulminate will collect at the bottom where the liquid is decanted off and safely disposed of. Mercury fulminate can't detonate when it's wet, so this is stored underwater until I'm ready to use it, which is pretty much immediately. It's impossible to make a weapon out of a primary explosive, but even still, this isn't something you want to have hanging around. And that's the entire process. I'm gonna go ignite a couple 0.2 gram samples. I hope you found this interesting and consider giving me a follow.